let's cut the BS, let's get to it. So Apple set to release the new iPhone SE 4, fourth generation iPhone SE. It's gonna come out uh, in late first quarter, 2025. So I know they've kind of released it. They've waited two years, they release it. Waited two years, release it. Well, this one's not coming out this year. Still gonna have to wait a few more months, but should be very interesting. Uh, I really kind of don't know what to expect. Now, it's gonna be a familiar build. Now, I say that because this new iPhone SE 4, it's going to look like an iPhone 14. So the iPhone 14 did not have the dynamic island. Previous leaks, earlier leaks, kind of hinted at the, that it was gonna have a, a dynamic island, uh, but now it looks like it'll just have the notch because what they're doing is they're basically taking the body, the frame, uh, the front glass, the back, the cameras of the iPhone 14, and they are going to rebrand it as an iPhone SE 4. Now, it will have a newer CPU. And guess what? It's going to have a new Apple-made modem. That's correct. No Qualcomm modem, no Samsung modem. Apple-made. It will be the first-generation Apple modem. But before we get into that, this, if you forgot some of the specs and the sizes of the iPhone 14, which... Uh, look, they may have some extra iPhone 14s laying around that uh, they didn't sell. So they were like, well, shoot, let's just uh, slap the SE branding on these 14s and push them out the door. Look, and that's that's not uncommon, right? Some other companies do that. But if you forgot, iPhone 14, excuse me, iPhone SE 4 is rumored to feature a 6.1 inch OLED display front facing obviously front facing uh front facing camera is going to have the face id so you will be able to have a face id it's going to have a newer a series chip we don't know if it's going to have the bionic a 18 chip maybe maybe the 17 but it'll be powerful nonetheless like all the rest usb type c port going to have a 48 megapixel rear camera and it will have eight gigabytes of RAM, I repeat, eight gigabytes of RAM to perform Apple AI. Now, that modem I was talking about, very interesting because this is an Apple first. So as you know, bear with me, sorry, running errands. Anyways, the Apple made modem, this will be their first modem. As you know, Apple wants to own, wants to manufacture, wants to make every single part uh, in the phone. Now, making and manufacturing 100% of the parts, uh, kind of unrealistic because, you know, they'll, they'll find suppliers for the, the vibration motor. Uh, they may source some suppliers for the speakers, um, you know, random stuff like that. Um, this is a first, a little risky. Now, typically most phones run either a Qualcomm modem. I think the latest and greatest is the X80. That's the one that can get satellite uh, connectivity. And then some others use Samsung modem, uh, like the Pixel. Now, uh, as of late, uh, the Samsung modems Got a little better. Qualcomm is the best, far and away the best in the modem. Now, what does your modem do? It connects, it's connectivity. Thank you. Yeah. Connectivity, uh, Wi-Fi, data. Uh, it's what handles your connections uh, and all that stuff. So Apple moving away from a supplier to their own could be, uh, will be risky because now, uh, they've been working on this. They've been working on this for years. Now, they were going to put one out. I think uh, they were going to put one out maybe two years ago and just wasn't ready. It just wasn't up to up to their standards and performance. Um, so they've been working on this probably for the last five or six years. They finally think they have it ready. Now, 
It'll be also in introduced in the iPhone SE 4. It, I, the iPhone SE 4 is going to be launched in March of 2025, in March, at the end of March 2025. And every iPhone, and assuming every Apple product that will be getting connectivity moving forward, is going to have this Apple made new modem inside. So iPhone 17's, the new Apple modem. iPhone 18's, new Apple modem. New iPads, Apple modem. So this is a big step. Um, and look, I'm sure they've done, obviously, tons of testing. Tons of testing. But how is it going to perform in the real world scenarios? We don't know. Uh, Samsung kind of stepped out on their own. Now they've had their own modems for quite a while. But it's very difficult. It's almost more difficult making a modem than it is making a CPU, like Google, right? Uh, how they're making it. It's, it's very difficult. And if it was so easy, more companies would be making their own modem. So I don't know how this is going to sit. I'm sure they're going to sell a ton of them. Uh, you would think they've done their homework and they finally nailed it. Uh, and look, Apple's more reserved bringing stuff to the public, right? So they're going to introduce an iPhone 18 or an iPhone flip in the 18 series. Well, they wanted to put out a flip iPhone for years, but never could because they wanted an iPhone that did not show a crease when it was opened up like a Samsung they did not want to so they've had this hinge in design and r d for years and years and they finally got it they did not want to bring something to the market unless it was fully uh presentable in an apple sort of way and they're, that's why they're bringing the flip they're got the green light to present the flip now uh, when it comes to this modem i think it's going to be something similar uh, they've been working on this for years, as, 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 as I've mentioned a couple times, and I think they finally got it. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt when it comes to bringing us this new modem. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt of years and years and years of testing, and we'll obviously uh, have to wait and see. So I believe they're going. This will be probably the biggest seller when it comes to iPhones in 2025. It's gonna launch, we don't know the exact starting price, but it should be below 500 bucks, which is a pretty good freaking deal uh, if you consider the CPU and all the stuff that's in it. Um, so it'll be a really, really good deal for the price and I'm sure a lot of people will purchase it. So I wanted to get that information out there. Keep an eye on this new modem. That's gonna be the little twist the little secret the little key to this launch um, stay tuned subscribe to eSim Studios YouTube channel go to eSimStudios.com that's where I got the story that's where I uh, got all the pertinent information not only on tech news but other stuff great Amazon deals for the for the uh, holiday season um, we got all sorts of cool stuff a free iPhone unlocking guide for everybody that wants to unlock phones, I'm giving the info for free. Go to eSimStudios.com. Got all the tech stuff there. So I got to run, guys. Uh, it was a pleasure. No live stream today. Busy. It's already dark. Um, whatever. See you tomorrow. Peace.